Hi, this is Magician Chuck Caputo. Welcome to The Gathering. This was a pretty cool thing my grandfather showed me when I was a kid. It was a mysterious box he kept in his basement. He had an envelope, a miniature skull, a little finger ring, a miniature pack of cards, and a small key. You're probably asking why they were so small. I was a little kid. <laughs> I was six years old, of course, so he had to use small items. But he called to my attention the key and the ring. There's no way this ring can get over top of the key. It is soldered shut. He told me to examine that, and the envelope he'll be using is empty. But we're going to get back to that a little bit later on. He removed the cards from the box. And upon fanning these out, he showed them different, and he laid a few cards from the top onto his little workbench. He always performed on a workbench for some reason. I don't know why. He was a machinist. So, But he told me to select the card. In this case, we'll take this one. And he placed the other two cards up on top. And he pretty much just cut the pack and inserted the playing card into the, its center. So it is untouched by human hands. He got the skull, placed it on top, used the key as a wand. And lo and behold, watch what happens. The pack proceeded to cut itself and make a complete cut. There was one card that was protruding from the pack. And in this case, it was my selected card. I couldn't believe what I saw. I was amazed. I was absolutely amazed. Then he went on to go a little bit further. He held the key, the envelope, and the ring in his hand while he got out a handkerchief. For some reason, grandpas always use handkerchiefs. I don't know why, but mine did. He laid it onto his little workbench. And like I said, he had me examine this minutely. I was really frustrated because I couldn't get the ring over top of the key. And he proceeded to drop these two artifacts into the tiny envelope and seal it shut, okay? And at this point, it's very important that you have the items examined by the spectators. It's very, very important. And upon folding the handkerchief up, he more or less, he more or less grabbed each corner, okay? And he covered it up like so, all right? Just like this to make it very, very fair. And at this point, he hung it up. You could hear the items in the envelope. Upon dropping it down, he unraveled everything. The envelope was in full view and out dropped the key, which now has the ring on and it is impossible to get this off. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the gathering.